right, in this video, this is T's workbook hints video number nine, and we're going to look at some viral math problems. Order of operations. We have two examples down here, and these have popped up on social media quite a bit. I was tagged in several of these posts, and I want to do a video that covers two of those examples. As a matter of fact, these two examples here will also help you with the arithmetic section of the T's math workbook. The current version is 1.6 as of the date of this video, and you can find a link for that workbook in the description below. Let's look at this first example. We have 50 plus 50 minus 25 times 0 plus 2 plus 2. Order of operations. We don't see parentheses. We don't see exponents. You know, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So again, no parentheses, no exponents in this problem multiplication and division. I'm going to circle these because that's going to be helpful on this second example. And then we have addition and subtraction. I'm circling those as well. A lot of people were getting these answers incorrect because they were assuming we always multiply before we divide, which we don't. We do this from left to right, whichever one comes first. And the same thing applies to addition and subtraction. More on that in a moment. For this example down here, we see this multiplication right here. Let's leave the 50 plus 50 alone right now. Let's bring down the subtraction. 25 times 0. That's what we want to do first in this problem. Well, 25 times 0 is 0. And now let's bring down the plus 2 and the plus 2. Working this out now, all we have is addition and subtraction. We can go from left to right to get our final answer. 50 plus 50 is 100. Minus 0 is still 100 plus 2 is 102, plus 2 more gives us 104. That is our final answer for that question. Now, here comes the big one. 8 divided by 2, and then in parentheses here we have 2 plus 2. So if we start this off, I'm going to work inside of the parentheses first. 8 divided by 2, and inside parentheses we have 4. Here's where people were messing up. They were multiplying here before the division, and you do not do that. I know you see multiplication up here before division, but it's whichever one of these comes first from left to right. We have division before we have multiplication, and yes, this does mean multiply here, but since we have division first from left to right, let's divide. 8 divided by 2 gives us 4. Let's bring this one on down. And 4 times 4 now gives us a final answer of 16. And again, that mistake here, if you took 2 times 4 first, you would have got 8 right here. And 8 divided by 8 gives you 1, but that is not the correct answer to this problem. And the moral of the story is this. When you have multiplication and division in a problem, you do whichever one of these comes first from left to right. And that same concept applies for addition and subtraction as well. So be careful with those. And there you have it, two examples to help you with the arithmetic section in the T's math workbook. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.